This is Havana in Clearwater, Florida. We're here on top of the world. Havana, did you know your birthday's coming? Nobody told me, no. I don't know. February 27th. That sounds like a good number. <laughs> do, you, do you know, Havana, do you know how old you'll be? Oh, I can't, I can't even count it on my both hands. You're going to be 100. <laughs> What's special about that? That's one, a long time. One zero zero is mostly zeros. I can tell you it is mostly zeros. What's the secret to living so long? Not to b bother with anybody. You know, I don't know. I wish I did because I think I could sell it. You must be eating some really good food. Oh, sure. I had very little. I didn't have even five cents to buy an ice cream cone. So I had to eat potatoes. And Talk to him. He's, take, he's videoing you. Oh, boy. Here, look over here. What's the secret to living so long? You're going to be a hundred. Yes, you know, I know, I have heard, I have family members that are over a hundred. Wow, how old? Well, I one that's probably about a hundred and six or seven. One of them's a hundred and four. Uh, did, did you say a hundred and seven? So, probably is. I'm not sure. I haven't heard for a couple of years. Yeah. And, and then uh, I know she was 105, so I think she's six or seven by now. I haven't heard she died, so I feel likely she, she's uh, probably still living, has family. Uh huh. You know, the lady that. Uh, this is my story, regardless of what. Yeah, how it happened, I'm not sure, but because I went to the top of the world um, office in the clubhouse on the east side, and they said, no, the room that you want, this room big enough, you know, for a few people, it's not, it's already reserved. Guess how long it had been reserved? Every year for about three or four years, it was reserved every year in advance because the club that reserved it wanted to have an annual meeting once a year. Talk to him. Oh, they had, they wanted to, was different clubs. Havana, we want to hear about your life. What? Your life. About my life? Well, I was born. Yeah, where were you born at? I was born in a north, with the west, most western place. Do you want to hear the whole story? We got four minutes. I mean, if you can talk fast, we got four minutes. <laughs> well, that's not very long. Uh, for Just a quick years. story. I I was born in the, the northwest corner of North Dakota. Before there was any settlement, the uh, land was all owned by the government, and it was given to farmers who wanted to do the uh, would who would spend a certain number of years harvest uh, taking care of the land and make become farmers and make it their home. They called it the farm. Uh, there was an act, a government act, that allowed the government to give you 40 or 80 acres of land. And that's what was going on out there. They didn't have to buy it. No, but they her. had to live Did on you go it. to college? Ask her the question, John. Havana, you went to college, didn't you? When I, where I was born was a small town that had been developed because the uh, kind of great northern railroad had built a 
Jack for a train to come up from the middle of North Dakota called Stanley up to this place. And so when they had completed the track, they were going to, they did, uh, drive a golden spike because it was a new town and they had everybody who would be shot. There had been a couple stores set up country stores for the farmers around. Well, start asking her what you want to know, John. Is huh? that what you want to know? Yeah, we got two minutes left. <laughs> How well, long? Anyway, when did you they, get married? Yeah, that's it? where I was born. At that time, there were 500 people that had that registered it, that they intended to make it their home, to shop at the in many stores that grew up there. So they organized the city with the resident records of 500. Now the uh, records show that that city is still exists. A lot of them don't, but that one does. And now it is down to 200. It didn't become. It's, if that yeah, time, when, it's, when did you get married? And when did you go to school? Where did you go to college? Well, that town grew to the point that they had a school. I graduated from high school, and didn't, there's no college anywhere near in in the state. <coughs> so it turned out I had an aunt that had gone out into Montana and was at uh, 20 years after I was born, was going to go and see if she could find a place to live in Minnesota. She stopped by my hometown and in the process offered to take me on the trip to Minnesota, which I couldn't do otherwise, and let me stay with her if I would take care of her young children while stay for a while. So I said yes, and her town was Moorhead, Minnesota, and had a teacher's college that was within walking distance of her home, which I eventually went to and became a teacher. And then I applied for a teaching job in uh, Fargo, which is the center of the other side of the state. And I got a teaching job in a one-room schoolhouse that had eight grades and one room and one teacher, <laughs> and that was me. Oh my God. Happy 100th birthday. <laughs> no, that was when my, well, when I was about 20, 30. 20 I had graduated as 18. And it's you got to talk to him. In 34 days, you'll be 100. Yeah, right. right. 34 days. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, well, I didn't talk about 100 birthdays at that time. I 